football captain, Sinead Goldrick. Sinead, thanks for joining us. Um, Sinead Goldrick, Dublin captain, it has a nice ring to it. Uh, how proud a moment is it going to be for you, your family and your club to be leading the Dublin Senior Ladies squad out onto the Pro Park pitch on the all or in the final day? Um, I suppose since I've been playing football since five or six, um, it's always been a dream to play in Crow Park. Um, so for the first time to play in it and to lead the team out, um, it's a huge honour. Okay. Um, how important do you think it has been to have had two really tough games in the quarter final and semi final coming into the final? Um, I think that you know the two against Kerry and Galway, um, we really had to ask ourselves questions, and I think that you know the belief and uh, the determination within the team after each match, you know, we asked ourselves what can we improve on, and I think that you know we learned from those matches, and it will definitely motivate us uh, leading into the final. Do you think it sort of galvanised sort of the, the mental and physical aspect of you know getting prepared for, for a tough battle against Cork? Yeah, like because you know there was times, especially in the Galway match, where we needed people to step up, and I think you know. Um, within training and everything like that, uh, no one's safe and everyone's just trying to try and get um, a number 1 to 15 jersey. Okay, uh, Dublin will be going into the final as underdogs, do you think this suits the squad and takes a bit of pressure off with everybody after Cork's easy semi-final victory, expecting them to win? Yeah, I think that like one focus, you know, this year is um, this management and this group of players. Um, you know, we started training in January, we were training in the snow in Neighbourne Oak and then we were out training in DCU throughout the summer. So I think that, you know, we really are as a group have just been through a really tough journey and we've had to work hard. And I think that that's all you need when you're going into final, just focusing on the team and what you've done since January. Um, and that's all you can do. Okay, there are a number of players who played and won a senior all Ireland title with Dublin that are still in the squad. Have you been picking their brains for advice on what to expect on the big day? Yeah, I think, you know, um, Denise Masters, Masters and Sinead, Sinead O'Hearn, Lindsay, Davey, um, you know, and there's others, they've such huge experience and, you know, they've served the Dublin jersey um, for, I don't know how long, <laughs> they probably wouldn't want me to tell you, but uh, with that they bring huge fast experience and, you know, you really do look for them, you know, I think, there's huge leaders in all of them, and then also the likes of Carla Rowe, um, Siobhan Woods, uh, the younger players, Leah Caffrey coming in, uh, winning All Ireland champions. You know, so they're the best All Ireland under twenty ones in the country, and you know, for them to be part of the panel, and I think they bring huge fresh blood, and uh, it's a great mix of experienced players who've been there, and then you know the under twenty ones who have just been crowned All Ireland champions this year. Okay, uh, Dublin and Cork are very closely matched, and there's normally only a kick of a ball between them. What do you think will make the difference on the day to get over the main line? Uh, whatever team wants it the most will win. Um, I think, you know, to be playing in Crow Park, to have, you know, your club and the support that we've been shown, you know, to date, I think that's, you know, will kind of be an extra thing on your, you know, to give you motivation going into the match. But uh, we're just trying to focus on what we've done through the year and the journey we've had and just trying to bring the best out of everybody. Okay. And finally, do you have a message for the Dublin supporters to get them out to support the squad in the final? Uh, I'd encourage anyone to come along. I think that um, there's nothing than being there. And also uh, for your sons and daughters who have a huge you know, dream of playing in Crow Park, it's great to get them out there. And ladies game football, the profile is you know, really getting better. And I think that you just need to experience it. And you know, think about the, we've been training for five or six days a week uh, for this, so it's a huge day for Dublin ladies and for Dublin football in general.